I might have to. What is this? It's, it's so big. I like being able to see everything from here. But at the same point, it's like. You guys get for medicine? Zero ten, zero ten. Are we just not hauling medicine? Where is it? All right. I bought eleven medicines. Where did they fall? We have a bunch of art that I apparently have not been paying attention to. Here, well, good. Thank you. I'll check you in a second. And it's not anywhere over here. I do not see it in here. It doesn't read we have any unless it all got used to make litter world medicine, which would not surprise me. That requires two minutes in each. I've got five. Yeah, so they used it all to make Litter World medicine. <sighs> Judith. Judith, I, I, okay, I appreciate you calling. Come call them. Look, Albanero's up. Yay! Oh. Appreciate what you guys are trying to do, but stop. <laughs> All right. How many herbals does it take to make a regular? Ten. Oh. You guys have any medicines? No. Um. Oh, wait, they, they do. At a freaking ungodly price. Ugh. Um. Sell the hair letter, sell the squirrel skin, sell the boar skin, sell the apaca hide. There you go. Sell a little bit of stuff. Trying to build up everything that I queued up. Buffalo over here. Let's try to hunt them. There we go. That's all built. Hey, Eddie. You haul buffalo in on your way in? Tired, you too. You. There we go. <coughs> oh, the art. That's right. I apparently have three art sculptures that I've built. That one's excellent. That one's good. That one's good. So, start with the good one entitled Blue Void. If it picks. Stop me attacking immediately. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, all hands on deck. Find right on top of me. Where did they drop in? They dropped in inside. Well, that's gonna be fun. Right, let's get everybody outside. There we 
go. Uh, combo, hop on the gun. Let's go ahead and hold open you, hold open you, and hold open you so they have an escape route. Manny go on that gun, Val go on that gun. Rice and go on that gun. And then you and you head there. So y'all head to right there. There we go, now they're fleeing. There we go. So you two can go and work on capturing. go. Albuquerque uh, got stuck unfortunately in the way of a shot. Is that it? Got all the enemies? That's actually it. So you guys can release. You can release. Oh, can release. about these guys. Psychically dull, that's nice. Trigger happy, that's good too. You can't do dumb labor, which is kind of a little sucky, but... <coughs> still do a lot of things. Hold on to you. I'll try to chat and recruit with you. And Vaz. Vaz is a chemical interest. He said, no, we're going to say bye-bye to you. Just release him as soon as you heal him. Um, he's good. Vaz is going bye bye. I think we healed him just enough to. I was right, Jesus. We have to carry him all the way out to there now. Yeah, I think we healed him just enough to get him going. Yeah. And we said, get the heck out of here. Bye. Alright, anyway, back to our sculptures. Um, Blue Void. The big student is frantically beating out a fire attached to his body on June, July 10th. His eyes are wide with panic. The lower part of the image is dominated by desert. The overall composition is square. All right. Then we have another good one, Black Ridge. Uh, it portrays me making a small sculpture at his workbench. <laughs> uh, my work is of excellent quality, so I'm making that one. The title, is, the title of this small sculpture is Thinking Victory. Apparently that was so good, I made one describing it. Um, hangs in the background. The work area is highly organized, and every tool in its proper place. The image seems to express victory. The scene takes place near, inside a village built near a valley. All right, and then thinking victory is this carving of bears, an illusion of the visitor, of a squirrel frantically beating out a fire attached to his body while attending to this robe. <laughs> Besides a wide panic, the work is a pixelated feeling as a square structure. Set a group, set a group, a set, of a group of Thatcher slides and distance. Jeez, okay. So 125, 58, and 53. I'm going to stall this one. This, my thinking victory, is going to go right here. Next to my legendary one, Day of Decay. And the other two, I think I'll just leave there to sell. Next time an exotic good trade. Bye. Let's go ahead and turn Duran's light on, guys. Come on. Alright. Things are being taken care of, so they are surely. A couple medicine now, not enough to build these beds with. Let's start. 
fact, I can probably go ahead and put the last two down that need to be built. And then I believe that they broke one vent. Miscellaneous, nope. Temperature? Yeah, temperature. What have been there? <coughs> yeah. All right. You guys are all still building and mining, or not mining, uh, hunting. Looks like we've almost built these walls. Hey, look, cryo tree. Fire sleep caskets are done. And that one's almost built. That one I believe is completely built. So pretty soon we should have enough to get everything. And we're actually working on hauling all of our steel up as well. So I'm thinking about starting to work on the ship here. Just building it up for the eventual escape. Maybe even put the rest of our main people in there. So that me gambit or me useless Yeti and Judith all escape. It's not growing, it's outside the ideal temperature range, because it's Freak in the middle of winter. I'm trying to see if it's actually going to go into its identical or I ideal temperature range at all. It's even growing at like 10%. Yeah, see, look, 3 to 5%. Yeah, it's still, still growing. Barely. It's kind of cool. Yeah, he's working on the sandstone walls. Probably go ahead and claim all that. And go ahead and deconstruct it as well. That's enough to hunt. Kill it all. Yeah, looks like he did. And the buffalo either left or you already brought him back. You're pretty much done. All right. So you're gonna be just chilling for a while, I guess. 88. There's arms dealer, Judith. There you are, Judith. Give the arms dealer a call. So the pistol, keep the survivor rifle, because it's actually pretty good. Um, got the money, so let's go ahead and pick up the machine gun turret. Think about getting a minigun turret too. I really don't want to. I have enough money to pick up the 50 cal if I wanted. So I think I'm just gonna get the machine gun turret, toss another one inside, try to help out. Um Actually, hold on. Before I do that, let's... What is this in the building here? Oh, it's the 50 cal. I just, I just need... 
Okay, so actually, yes. Judith, go ahead and pick up the 50 cal. That's uh, pretty much all our money. But let's do it anyway. Of course, I'm not a constructor. This is not a constructor. Man, he is. Fifty cal to the. All right, whatever. Whatever, guys. Come on. Let's let you put your steel in there. It needs to be put in there, and then you guys can call the fifty cal over. There we go. Now <coughs> ah, we've got it built. Yay! Now this is we actually built up. Fire mm. merchant. Judith. Judith, go eat and then give them a call, please. Um that's what we really want to buy. The bionic car would have been nice, but I feel like I have... oh, they're they just hurt. That's right. A lot of stuff inside our base has hurt ever since uh, they came crashing in. We've got a lot of weapons just kind of sitting over here. That I haven't noticed. So that being said, Lanny, come on down. You're gonna get. Shoddy one, it's a superior, a shoddy, there we go. I'll take a good sniper, good charge rifle, please, sir. Love good. I'll take the normal charge rifle, please. Um Redfield, you're my guard, you kinda stay home. You're a good shot. I'll take the superior. Sniper rifle. And combo. Combo, I'm gonna have you come and take. Solar flare. Uh, you're gonna take the uh, shoddy charge rifle, please. Okay. So combo, go ahead and come take that. First things first, cargo pods. Some more meat. Yippee hurrah hooray. Next off, solar flare. And then squirrels. The squirrels are coming. Alright. Abanero. On a gun, please. Useless on a gun. Val on a gun. Me on a gun, please. And then Seraphie here. Up here as quick as you can. And it's Manny, he's already under attack. Is McIntyre down here too? Yes. All right. Try to get in there, Manny. Oh, you don't have really much any options. Try to get in there. McIntyre's down. He's trying to get away, but I don't think he's going to be able to. And he is down. Val is under attack. If 
Val is down. Syracuse is going to head to right there. We're trying to bait them in. And we're hoping that there's enough so that we can. I want to get that. Here. And we just took Seraphy out with the bang. Got him. It's okay. I feel like, oh, Val is going for the last gun. That's right. Love good. Can you go hop on the last gun, please? And Judith, you're going to have to become my distraction. Still a decent amount of them out here. So work on rescuing him. That should hopefully draw them in. Looks like there's four left. Okay. Alright, so here's the deal. We got people to rescue. So I'm gonna go rescue McIntyre. Okay, so I need you to come rescue Manny. I love good. I wanna have you rescue Val. Uh, how many squirrels was that? 38 here, and there's more kind of lying around in places. <coughs> Alright, we are working hard on getting everybody healed up. Sheriff, he lost his arm. That's not good. So we need get an arm. Let's just make these all do until we have one. Cook your assault rifle. We're gonna have to get into your. You're gonna need a new eye and a new arm. Sorry if I just ended. That's helpful. Let me heal up McIntyre. Yep. Man, those squirrels, that was, that was bad. So you're all healed up. McIntyre's got an infection. McIntyre and Val got infections. Awful one, excellent one. The rest of that one until you're healed. Val, please. There's 
your left arm, which I could cut, and then your torso, which I can't. Uh, no, 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 stop. Um, you. Rest until healed. I'm actually doing it in that bed. Oh. Freaking squirrels. <laughs> 